the style. It's two inches wide, but this part is one and a half. So we need to come in three quarters from the edge of here to make it dead center into the center of the style. So this is at three eighths. So if we come over three quarters, that'd be one and a quarter inches. Is that right? Uh, one and an eighth inches. One and an eighth inches uh, would make it square in the center of the style. Um, no, I think I'm going to go with one inch because that'll that'll center it between the inside uh, edge of it and the outside edge of it. That looks more more natural. So we're going to say that it's going to be one inch. So we're going to set this piece at one inch, right? Which should put should put our our hole exactly in the middle of the side. So we'll put that there, and we will, we have a another stop over here that allows us to uh, to put in to to put the hole where we want it to be. Now, it also, you'll notice, uh, we have multiple pieces on here. So you can actually put in pulls that have two, uh, two screws in them, two screw holes, uh, and have them perfectly aligned. I usually put the screws through here, put the, put the, the pull on there, um, and then get it centered so that I know that these holes are exactly far enough apart um, to accommodate the pull. Uh, in the case of a single pull, we can actually take these off and do just a single pull, right? So, um, we're going to put the, the stop back on. got the stop back on. We got it at one inch uh, this way. Now we want to go and make sure that the hole is four and a quarter inches from the stop, right? So we have on here, we have the stop. And we want to make it sure that it's going to be down four and a quarter inches. Right? So we will measure that and we'll put that on. That will give us our, our uh, where the, the where the pull should actually go um, to make sure that that's correct. And I'm gonna and as always, I recommend that you measure twice and cut once. Right. So measure it again and make sure that that's where we want the hole to go. So I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna go measure and come back. So I'm back here. I did measure and the measurements came out just a tiny, the tiniest bit difference, right? So we want to make sure that we are going and looking at the existing cabinet and then sighting through our uh, drill hole to make sure that it aligns with screws that are already in the other cabinets. It can be a little bit different. People won't notice the difference. But it, if it's more than about a quarter of an inch off, people will start to notice that's uh, at, at the wrong spot. So what we want to do, we've got this set. These are tightened down. And the good thing about doing it with this jig is that uh, you can do multiple doors and have them all lined up exactly right. right? So what we're going to do, we're going to put in our drill bit, and then we're going to drill this hole. 
And again, I challenge you to make sure that you are drilling in the right spot. It's not that it's a, it's not that it's a game changer or it's a, a serious problem. You could always fill the hole in, repaint, but it will cause you, it will cause you additional work. We don't, we want to avoid that. And so, what I'm going to do, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my drilling block from over here. Sorry about the, the state of the, the garage, by the way. Um, I'm going to get my drilling block, and I'm going to do it on the drilling block so that um, we have uh, a steady place to do it. Um, and I can hold it down and it won't go through uh, my other wood that I'm working on here. Which, by the way, this, uh, this butcher block that you see uh, will be, will be the, um, the, uh, will be the, uh, the countertop for my new counters. So I'm going to drill this through. So I've gone back and I've checked um, the size of the, of the screw. It does fit in there. Uh, everything's fine, but I want to point out something to you, right? So when we put the screw in here, um, if we don't countersink it, right, it's going to sit on top of this, right? And I prefer that it be countersunk. It's just a, a little detail, but it's something that you probably will will want to do. So what we want to do is we want to put it get a set of countersinks. They're really not expensive, very handy. So I'm going to countersink this hole before I put uh, the put the uh, the pull in. And then we will put the pull in and we'll be ready to put on uh, the hinges. So I'm just gonna just gonna go to my hole on the back. And I'm just gonna give it enough enough to accommodate my screw. And I'm gonna try it in here. It's still not deep enough. We can handle that. We can give it a little bit more. <clears throat> a little bit more yet still. Right? And it's and it's a it's, a, it's an iterative process. You want to take your time with it, make sure it's the way you want it. Right? So I like that. So that's that's uh, countersunk. And not a lot, you'll notice that in standard cabinets, they don't do that. And so that's just a little, a little extra that, you know, helps uh, you to do what you need to do. Um, I am going to now put the, the piece on and we'll screw it in. Change out my change my bit for my screwdriver, and do the same thing on my drill. So I'm going to put this in. One thing you'll notice, right? If you look real close at that, right? There are some Little, little knobs on the end, right? And that's to make sure it doesn't twist. Over time, the old knobs, since they'd be flat on this end, 
would twist. Since then, you know, in the last 20 years or so, they've, they've come to the realization that you don't want them to twist and come off. So now when you screw it in, those, those create divots in the wood that keep it from twisting and coming out later on. So they're much more um, uh, consistent now, right? But you also need to, to screw from the back and make sure that, they are, that it is firmly planted when you, um, when you get going on this, right? So you wanna make sure that you've screwed it as far, far in as you can. Right, and then just a little bit more, and then hold it. Screw it in. Now it's not going anywhere. Uh, it is ready uh, to put our uh, our hinges on. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these hinges and you'll notice <clears throat> that uh, the hinges already have uh, screws in them and what we need to do is take those screws out because we're going to actually put in wood screws uh, into the holes here to hold the uh, to hold these right so uh, if you had, if you wanted to, you could drill a hole and insert these in. Um, I personally do not want to do that. Um, I want to I want to put them in directly, uh, the screws directly uh, into the wood. All right, so I'm going to take these, these screws out and I'll take these little plastic pieces off of it. Oh, of course I dropped it. Um, you know, that's the way things happen, right? You always end up dropping things. And, and I, I have to say, if you don't have a, a, a cordless screwdriver, cordless drill, um, please go out and get one because they are so much easier to use. So what we're gonna do, we've got those two screws out. We're going to, um, to flip this over. Now, this part of the, this part, right, will go on the, on the counter. Um, you see this now, right? This part will go against on the piece that uh, goes in the counter, on the counter top, right? On the, on the, the cabinet. So what we wanna make sure of when we put this in, we wanna make sure that it is properly aligned with the holes that are already there. And then we wanna put, uh, put the screws in for this. I actually have some screws already available uh, for this. A little attachment, right? So I put the star bit on the end and I'm able to get into this uh, tight space. Hi, this is Dean Morgan, and I'm hoping that you stay to the end of the video. It's such a riveting video, right? Uh, not just kidding, but really uh it was uh i think you will find that there was some good information on how to do some things there um, i have some friends who are challenged with diy projects and i'm hoping that they get a chance to watch this um, and see how easy it is to do one thing i want to point out to you uh, is that in the description uh, of this video uh, you will find links to various pieces, such as the uh, cordless drill that I use, the, uh, the different uh, tools, and the jig that I showed as well, which I think is a fantastic piece for very little money. Uh, helps your, your projects come out much, much nicer. So I, I'm glad you could 
stay and glad you could uh, come and visit and, and see my video. And I hope that you will subscribe and like this video and turn on the notifications so that as we get more videos, you'll get notified of each of those. I plan to do some more DIY uh, on the kitchen remodel. Uh, the next piece will probably be the cutting of the uh, countertop, uh, which is uh, butcher block, and then the staining of the same. So all of that is going to be riveting video. Thank you for coming. Good night.